Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Tinker Air Force Base is celebrating 80 years of history this year with air shows and parades. One of the most important pieces of that history sits quietly a couple of miles to the north. Well, this evening, Galen Culver pays a visit to an old airplane and two filmmakers who wanted to make sure its story was told. It doesn't seem like a super effective way to. In the days leading up to November 11th, it's still not uncommon to see grandfathers at Joe B. Barnes Park. It adds to the story. Patiently telling grandsons the history of World War II and the part this aircraft played in Oklahoma history as well. It's incredibly important that the next generation understand uh, the price that's been paid. Former State Senator Gary Bands and grandson Nathaniel Livingston did a lot more than just visit this C-47, though. Together, they produced a documentary film to show the world. You just kind of start with how the story started. What makes this particular plane so unique and worth telling about is its all-encompassing history, manufactured at the Douglas plant here in 1943, then dropping paratroopers at D-Day, Pilot Royce Barnes received the Distinguished Flying Cross while guiding this plane back across the English Channel on one engine and one wheel. The fact that it went through World War II and it's still here and that story is still alive is pretty cool. This very plane spent 30 years after the war ferrying Kerr McGee officials around the world, and that's still not all. Visitors to the State Fair will recall this plane on static display from 1976 to 2006. From there, it went to Metro Tech and a years long restoration project beginning in 2017. Bands himself spearheaded an effort to get it restored, repainted, and to tell its story at Joe B. Barnes Park, fewer than two miles from where it was made in the first place. The plane has a story, and if you're standing in front of the plane and looking at a group of panels that tell the story, you get the story. But we needed a much broader circulation of that. Skytrain is what they called the C-47s when they rolled off the line at Tinker. 13 a day at the height of production, this survivor covers all that history, taking now once more to the air in documentary form for the rest of the world to admire. In Midwest City, Galen Culver, News 4, is this a great state or what? Well, the C-47 Skytrain Memorial was dedicated to Joe B. Barnes Park back in November of 2018. The Skytrain film was first on the schedule at this year's Branson Military Film Festival over the weekend.